Hello, yogis. Thank you for being here. Today, we're going to get started sitting on our heels, facing forward. This is too much on your knees. You can have a seat directly on your glutes with your ankles crossed. Take your hands anywhere on your legs. Find a super tall spine. Close your eyes. Avoid changing anything. Just sit up tall in stillness. Be exactly as you are in this moment. Now begin to change the pace of your breath. Inviting a rich inhale in through your nose. Going all the way up from the base of your belly through your mid belly, your lungs. Feel your rib cage expand. Hold at the top. Open mouth, exhale, gently release your breath. Slow and controlled. And keep that same pace of breath. Slowly inviting the breath in. Slowly letting it out. Blink your eyes open if you'd like. Take one more inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Bring your hands to your mat. Walk your legs back. Allow your knees to open wide and your toes to move towards one another. Bring your forehead to your mat, elbows down as well. Keep stretching your arms long. Stay right here. Begin to breathe life into your hips and your inner thighs. Inhale, tabletop. Straighten your elbows. Adjust your hands so your shoulders stack over your wrists. Bring your legs inward just a bit. Align your hips over your knees. Squeeze your belly muscles to straighten your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Push your belly down. Lift your booty. Pull your elbows back in towards your chest. Exhale, cat. Squeeze your belly muscles around your shoulders. Navel into spine, chin in towards your heart. Spread across your shoulders. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Opportunity to add on movements that suit you. Invite creativity into your practice. Allow yourself to move 
fluidly and freely. Being mindful to balance out the right and left sides of your body, repeating the movements on both sides. Once you feel balanced, find tabletop, breathe in. Exhale, puppy pose. Stretch your arms long, come to your elbows. Allow your chest to move closer to your mat. Forehead or chin can connect to your mat. Keep your hips over your knees. Pull your shoulders away from one another. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, push your hips to the ceiling or sky. Make sure your feet are hip width distance apart. Create a shorter distance between your wrists and toes if needed to maintain that upside down V. Actively and energetically press your chest towards your quads. Pedal out your dog. Bend your knees. Inhale, high plank, shift forward. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Feel the need to walk your feet back a little bit to maintain this alignment. You may wiggle your feet back, squeeze your belly in. Keep your head and neck long, full breath in. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll, uttanasana. Step your feet forward the whole length of your mat. Allow your feet to move to at least a hip width distance position. Hang heavy, folding path. Pick any shape that you'd like. Grab opposite elbows, sway side to side, bounce up and down. Take time for you. 30 seconds in ragdoll. Letting your head hang heavy. Feel your spine release. Feel the crown of your head inch closer to your toes. Release your elbows if you took that option. Take your hands to your lower back. Interlock your fingers. Push your palms together if they touch. Inhale, bow halfway lift. Lift your torso and belly away from your thighs. Shift weight forward into the toes, making an L shape from the crown through the heels. And then squeeze your biceps in towards one another. Full inhale. Full exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Release your bind. Walk your feet into a comfortable distance. Look at your feet. Be sure your toes are pointing forward. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Same thing. This time we're not taking the bind. We're just pressing into the front of the legs or hands can stay underneath the shoulders. Squeeze your belly muscles. Breathe in. Exhale, standing forward fold. Micro bend your knees if you'd like, depending on what's happening in the hamstring. 
Hamstrings are really tight and you can bend the knees. If you're feeling really flexible in the back side of the leg and your chest is close to your knees, you can straighten the knees. Squeeze your belly muscles. Come on up to a standing position. Bring your hands to heart center. Extension through your elbows. Bend out all 10 toes. Knit your ribs in. Feel a little tuck of your tailbone. Close your eyes for a brief moment. Samasthi Devi. Deepen your breathing. Leave your eyes open. Reduce your hands by your sides. Inhale, mountain pose, but up and up. Take your arms overhead. Soften your shoulders. Root down through all four corners of your feet. Find length in your side body. Fully inhale. Exhale, standing forward fold. Bring your hands to heart center. Hand at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Bring your hands to your mat. Drop down to your knees. Come down to the front line of your belly. Keep your hands as they are. Inhale, baby cobra. Keep the tops of your feet connected to your mat. Lift your chest away from the mat. Keep breathing, little to no weight in your hands. Squeeze your biceps in towards you. Squeeze your back muscles, breathe in. Exhale, release your hands. Tuck your toes, inhale, tabletop or high plank. I'm gonna take tabletop today. Exhale, downward facing dog, hip high. And that's our sun salutation. A will flow breath to movement. Simple and easy. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of your mat. You can determine the distance between your feet. I'm taking about a hip width distance. Approach. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Come all the way down to your belly. Your knees and your quads can release first, then your belly. Forehead to your mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Squeeze your back muscles. Exhale, release. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top. Take your time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, listen for the change. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your fingertips or hands to your mat. Step your left leg back so it's nice and straight. If you have yoga blocks, you can take your hands to the block. Let's see if we can bend the right knee to a 90 degree bend. Hold your low lunge. And walk your hands all the way to the left side of your mat while paralleling your feet. Wide-legged forward fold. You can capture your ankles or your hands can release directly underneath your shoulders. Allow your head to hang super heavy. Release your hands to your mat underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Pivot both feet so your toes point forward. Step your left foot in, one footprint. Inhale, warrior one. Take your arms overhead. Bend your right knee a lot. Be sure your back heel stays grounded. Left foot is about 45 degree angle somewhat, or you can rotate it out just a little bit. Let's square the hips off. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward, so they're 
somewhat in um, the same alignment. And then reach your arms overhead once again. Squeeze your belly muscles in tight. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Send your arms forward. Begin to bend at your waistline, straighten your right knee. Allow your fingertips to come to your mat. You can adjust your back leg so that you're taking more of an internal rotation of that back leg and the heel can be lifted from the mat if you'd like. Bend your right knee as much as you need to. Maybe your forehead connects to your shin, maybe not. Maybe you're just about halfway into a halfway lift, right? Just breathe. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot forward so it's in line with your right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your fingertips or hands to your mat. Step your right leg back. Find that deep lunge. Deep lunge. If you need to adjust your left foot, maybe walk it forward a little bit, go for it. One day, we'll get a 90 degree bend in the front knee. Keep breathing into the lunge. We're just stretching. Look down at your hands. On the inhale, exhale, wide-legged stretch. Wide-legged separate leg stretch. Or wide-legged forward fold, cross or reach up. Parallel your feet. <clears throat> Adjust the distance between your feet if you need. Take your hands wherever you'd like. Just stretch. Release your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Pivot both feet. Step your right foot in, one foot press. Inhale, warrior one. Reach your arms up to the sky or ceiling. Bend your left knee aloft. Make sure that heel stays connected and your right foot is at about a 45 degree angle. You can energetically square off the hips by twisting the left hip back or you can manually do it with your hands. Want to get the hips as even as possible and then stretch the arms long. Keep pressing the back heel down. Be sure the back leg is nice and straight. If you're feeling wobbly, perhaps you need to just send the left foot out to the edge of your mat a little bit more. So creating bigger distance between your thighs. Full inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Reach forward. Bend at your waist. Begin to straighten your front knee out, but keep a little micro bend. Now, depending on your flexibility, if you need to bend it more, bend it more. Rotate your back foot. So you're internally rotating the back thigh. That back heel can be released from the mat. No worries there. Just hold deep and breathe deep. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. So a flow of breath to movement all the way through with some adjustments. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, standing forward fold. We're going to eliminate that low cobra. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left leg back. Inhale, look down to the left of your mat. Exhale, prosarita. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. 
Step your left foot in, one foot press. Inhale, warrior one, the wrist control. Exhale, modify pyramid pose or pyramid pose, fold. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg back. Find your low lunge. Look down at the right side of your mat on your inhale. Exhale, cross serena. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot in. One foot print. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, pyramid pose or modified pyramid pose. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Hold your high plank with strength, with control. One more inhale. Exhale, come down to your knees. Grab a little bit of water. Ah, good job. Nice work. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, high plank. Squeeze your belly muscles. Keep your glutes in line with your shoulders. Press evenly into the balls of your feet and all 10 toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come down to the front line of your body. Bring your arms out to the side. Forehead down, long neck. Inhale, locust. Lift your arms and legs. Squeeze your back muscles together. Feel your chest lift away from your mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, release your right ear to your mat. Allow your arms and hands to meet the earth. Inhale, bring your chin to center. Exhale, locust. Second time, lift your arms and legs. Squeeze your back muscles. Point your toes. Find extension through the arms. Find a long neck. Full inhale. Exhale, release your left ear to the earth. Allow your arms and hands to relax. Inhale, straighten your neck. Exhale, bend your elbows, push up to your knees, child's pose. Walk your knees out wide, toes in, keep your arms stretching long in front of you. Rest your forehead on your mat. You can rest your elbows if you'd like. Breathe into your hips, breathe into your inner thighs. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Send your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Bend your knee. Release your shin to the mat. Straighten your back leg. Sit up nice and tall. Square off your hips. You can stay in active pigeon or sleep your pigeon. Hold at your waist. Shift your weight over to the left just a little bit. Come to your elbows. Keep a flat, spine, long neck. <clears throat> Breathe into the right thigh and hip.
Inhale, push up to your fence. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, three-legged down dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged down dog, send your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, bend your knee, release your shin, release your back leg. Sit up tall, active pigeon, stay or sleep your pigeon. Hinge at your waistline, bring your forearms, elbows, to your mat, shift your weight over to the right just a bit. Inhale, push up to your hands. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your knee. Inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come to your knees and shins. Swing your legs off to either side of your mat. Find the middle of your mat. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, slowly release to your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Supta Baddha Konasana, recline bound angle. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your hands and arms to fall wherever is most comfortable for you. Close your eyes. Take your hands to the outside of your legs. Inhale, hug your knees into your rib cage. Exhale, release your left leg long. Inhale, half horn removing. Squeeze your thigh outside your rib cage by capturing your shin. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your leg over to the left and send your right arm to a T. Inhale, pull your knees back into your chest. Exhale, send your right leg long. Inhale, half wind removing, capture your shin, squeeze your thigh outside your rib cage. Exhale, supine twist, guide your leg across your body to the right and extend your left arm long. Inhale, bring your knees into your chest. Exhale, happy baby. Bend your knees, flex your feet. Capture the soles of your feet. The inside arches or outside edges. Stay here or rock side to side a bit. Slowly or ninja kick your baby. Straighten your legs if you'd like.
Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Exhale, squeeze into a teeny tiny ball. Give yourself an energetic hug. Tense up all the muscles in your body. Bring your forehead as close to your knees as possible. Get really small. Squeeze and inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Let go of your legs. Let your legs fall open. Allow your arms to fall open. Palms can face up or down, whichever you prefer. Close your eyes and relax as you soften all the muscles in your body. Allow your tongue to fall away from the roof of your mouth. Completely relax your jaw. Enjoy final resting pose, Shavasana in stillness. Just focusing on your breathing, the present moment. If you would like a bit more time in Shavasana, feel free to stay. Stay in stillness. Continue to meditate. If you are ready to move on, begin to breathe naturally. Begin to re-energize your body. Move your fingers and toes. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. Bend your elbows, rotate your arms and legs in and out. Bring your head from side to side. Inhale, wall to wall stretch. Stretch your arms long over your head. Push into your shoulders and feel that beautiful stretch at the front line of your body from your fingertips through your toes. Deep breath in. Exhale, fetal pose. Bend your knees, roll onto your favorite side, and use your bicep as a pillow for your ear. Allow your eyes to remain closed. And when you feel ready, take your time coming up to a comfortable seated position. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Push your thumbs into your chest. 
mat. We'll lift your thumbs to the crown of your head as you continue to find extension through your elbows. Thank you so much for tuning in, for being here, allowing me to be your guide through your yoga journey. I bow to you. Namaste.